Thank you everyone for attending today. Uh, my name is Casey Colligan. I'm a project product manager here at CAD Dimensions. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at team meeting efficiency and engagement using the 3D Experience platform. Uh, so we'll go ahead and, and jump right in, make sure we stay on time here. Uh, so for the agenda for today, uh, first we're gonna take a look at uh, what does lean mean? Uh, so the focus of this uh, 3D experience tool we're gonna take a look at revolves around lean principles. Uh, so we'll start by defining lean. Uh, we'll take a look at what a traditional lean meeting looks like uh, for those who may already be practicing lean principles uh, in their meetings, uh, how the 3D experience handles those meetings, what are the benefits of that, and then we'll jump in and actually take a look at the platform itself. Uh, at the end, we'll finish up with uh, some Q&A. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to throw them in as we go, and I'll address those at the end. So first, we'll take a look at what does lean mean? Uh, lean is defined as a methodology of focusing on minimizing waste while simultaneously maximizing our productivity uh, with the goal of, obviously, increasing uh, profitability. Uh, so lean principles came out of the manufacturing industry uh, with lots of research uh, from various different people uh, throughout the years looking at ways to improve efficiency in uh, manufacturing uh, and developing these different principles, these core principles to follow to help minimize that waste and uh, maximize our overall productivity. If you're not familiar with lean, uh, or Lean Principles, uh, be sure to check out uh, lean.org for some additional information uh, on Lean practices, uh, especially if you're interested in applying any Lean principles into uh, your industry. Uh, so what we're gonna take a look at next is uh, how Lean traditionally right now is applied to team meetings. Uh, so a traditional lean team meeting looks like the image in the background here uh, often utilizes a, a whiteboard and uh, sticky notes to uh, capture meeting information on a big visual display which makes it really easy to uh, understand what kind of information we're uh, we're talking about and, and see it on a nice visual collaborative board uh, but it can be a rather cumbersome method uh, in terms of storing um, and reviewing that information down the road. And there are also certainly some uh, downfalls to utilizing a, a standard whiteboard technique. Uh, so with that, that's where the 3D experience meetings come into play. So the 3D experience lean meetings use uh, modern digital tools to capture, monitor, and track uh, these uh, operational meetings across different organizations uh, and, and silos in a business and allows us to take the whiteboard lean meeting um, techniques of throwing the sticky notes up and having a nice visual display where everyone can see all the information in a very easily digestible way. The 3D Experience platform now gives us these tools in a digital format, uh, which gives us uh, a few uh, or many additional added benefits. Um, to highlight a couple of the key benefits there, we'll jump in and take a look at some of the uh, 3D experience benefits when using the lean tools in 3D experience. Uh, so the first one allows us to simplify our team interactions regardless of where or how people work. Uh, so the traditional lean team meeting would have everyone be required to be in the same room so that way we can all collaborate on a single uh, whiteboard in a conference room uh, with the pandemic requiring many people to adjust to a remote um, work style. Now using a digital tool allows everyone to jump on the platform, access the same meeting at the same time, see all that information all at once, collaborate on that information, in one location without having to be physically present in the same location. Uh, it also helps teams communicate in engaging in natural ways, 
again that that whiteboard uh technique is really the the principle behind uh this tool we're going to look at in just a few minutes um where we can get much more engagement from the team utilizing images and pictures and the sticky note method and being able to quickly write on the board uh, to communicate those ideas uh, it also allows you to control what team members have access to your different teams so in the 3d experience platform when we're setting up our different uh, team meetings we can control who has access or who needs to be involved in which meetings um, therefore just pulling in the the team members that we need uh, to allow them to to work uh, on their uh, meetings individually and then cross collaborate with other teams uh, when it is necessary so we get complete control over who can get into each meeting um, the 3d experience platform lean tools also allow us to uh, quickly identify um, problems and actions uh, assign members to those problems create actions and resolve any of the issues that uh, come up from these meetings so it allows a quick way both visually uh, and uh, digitally to, to track this information see it all in one location and then uh, assign members to any of those problems to get those issues resolved and lastly uh, an adoption of lean um, behavior so using a, a lean um, developed tool inside of the 3d experience platform will encourage your teams to improve their performance uh, during every meeting by practicing these types of lean uh, efficiency principles when running these team meetings. Uh, it helps to improve overall performance in each of these meetings, making them much more efficient and productive. So we're going to jump over to uh, the 3D Experience platform. We'll take a look at what this tool is that I um, highlighted here at the start of this presentation uh, so first to get access to 3d experience platform what i'll need to do is uh, go to the web page and use my 3d experience id to log in uh, so for those of you on the call that have not been exposed to the 3d experience platform before uh, the 3d experience platform is a cloud-based platform um, that enables um, companies to do full product development from design all the way through to production manufacturing with a full dashboard style suite of tools that enable um, everything from design to collaboration, to data management, um, to meeting management, um, and so on. So just a simple example of what a dashboard looked like here on the left. I've got my, my data, my CAD data on the platform. I've got a nice viewer in the middle here. And then on the right, I've got a, a community um, channel here where I can start posting content, posting ideas, and we can start collaborating on that. Uh, and on the bottom, another tool we can use things like web page readers. So lots of tools available on the 3D Experience platform, just to give you an idea of kind of what the, the layout would look like there. Flipping over to my other tab of my dashboard, here's the tool we're going to be focusing on today. It's called our 3D Lean tool. So I have it already set up on my dashboard, um, but it is just an app in the 3D Experience platform. And we can grab more information with the eye here uh, that just gives us a nice overview of what this tool does. So if you are getting into the 3D Experience platform, you have some of these different tools. That's a nice uh, little uh, tool tip to go to to find additional information. So the 3D Lean tool, again, is built on these lean principles of uh, following those lean techniques to really make our meetings as efficient as possible, very visual, visual meetings as well. Um, to start a meeting, we can define what attendees we want in that meeting. See myself and my coworker, Kevin, are, are here. Uh, and then we can pick what we call these lean jits to set up a meeting uh, or define a board. And then we can even specify a time. This is very valuable uh, for maintaining very efficient meetings. You can see now on the top left and top right of my screen, 
I've got a nice readout reminding me how much time is left in my meeting, keeping these meetings very efficient and on time and focused. Uh, so what can we do when we create this? I created a custom board, but we can set this up using a bunch of different tools. We've got things like a sketch board. So if you're using uh, a nice big touch screen in the manufacturing shop, um, you need to make some quick drawings. We can use a sketch board. Uh, if we need to bring in any CAD data, we can use our 3D play to rotate around the CAD data. Uh, even KPIs, PDF viewers, uh, we can see what team members are currently in our meeting. Uh, if we want to show a video player, a web page reader. And then the two really useful ones are action and our problem logs. I'm going to go ahead and jump into one of my different um, sections here. We'll take a look. I put uh, an image of some uh, top 10 lifting rules. Maybe for a meeting, I want to review some of our, our safety protocols with the team. And by having these um, very digital kind of whiteboard-like behavior, I can quickly mark this up if I want to bring attention to some different areas, reminding the team, you know, you must wear your hard hats, your protective footwear, and your uh, high-vis jackets at all time when working. Again, just kind of pulling in, reinforcing some of those rules. Uh, another nice example here, if we're building different teams to tackle some new projects uh, on the shop floor or some, um, some new ideas going forward, we can establish something like a, a team um, board where I threw myself and my coworker Kevin as the team leader. And then if, when we get other members in the team um, joining, we can add their icons as well to the screen or i can even write it in here so i could have my my coworker mike to my team for example um and sloppily trying to write that in with a mouse uh, if we take a look next at a larger uh sub team board i've got a, a bunch of information uh stored on this board we got things like we can see what members are currently active. See my, myself and my coworker Kevin are currently in this meeting. We both have green uh, next to our names. And we'll jump in and take a look at this safety cross. Yeah, so safety cross is just a, an image that I loaded in that I can start to interact with in this very engaging way during my team meetings. So I can go in and, and maybe identify on different dates, what type of uh, situations do we have? Do we have no incidents? And maybe I'll just quickly circle the days where we had no incidents. Let's go through and circle a few of these days here. And then maybe on a couple other days, we did run into some situations. So on the fifth, we had a dangerous situation. And on the seventh, and ran into a severe damage accident. All right, so a nice visual way to represent uh, how the, the month has been going so far. Now that I've identified on the seventh we had a severe damage accident, I might want to assign something to take a look at uh, what happened on that day. So again, the, the 3D lean is built on those uh, lean meeting type principles uh, where we're using kind of a whiteboard and sticky notes. So I can start to add on a sticky note. I can type in uh, a note here as to what I want to address. We'll say uh, I want to investigate this uh, severe damage accident. And I'm going to assign that as an action, so something I want to happen. So I want someone to take on that, that action of identifying what caused that severe damage accident. We'll review what those actions do in just a few minutes. Uh, another nice way to use the 3D Lean tool is to uh, brainstorm or establish uh, where everyone on the shop is going to work that day. Uh, so this is a nice example. It's just a, a rendering of a SolidWorks uh, model. This could be a, a, a drawing, um, or uh, an actual physical image of the shop floor, and we can just drag in different people in the meeting and assign them their different regions that they might be uh, working that day. 
in our quick maybe 15 or five minute stand up meeting in the morning where we discuss that information. And then if there's any other relevant information we want to discuss, maybe a zone that's uh, having some work done or had had some issues with it and we want to just remind everyone to stay out of that region. I could add uh, just some nice graphics here, just a little note. I won't create an action or a problem there, but just identify a quick note saying, remember, this is a region we want to stay out with. Again, it just gives us a nice visual as we're working through those team meetings. Another one of the lean jits that we can use is a KPI builder, which lets us uh, track any KPIs that we want to within our team. So here I've got an example of some non-conformances and my total number of claims over a period of time. I can quickly adjust you know, what those values were over those dates. So we, we're working just on a single week we can see what kind of claims we had or issues we had that arose that week uh, or positive um, KPIs as well. And we can set values for above or below, um, giving a nice visual um, readout. If it's green, uh, we're in the positive, red is in the negative. So we'll take a look next at our action logs. So our action log stores any of those notes as we work through our different uh, boards there that we define as action. You see they can be saved as any color. The key aspects to each of those uh, is that it's defined as an action, which will populate it on this board. And now it can start to define when those actions are going to take place. So I'll set those one for today, one for tomorrow, and then this review all my KPIs. I already did that so we can mark it as done. We get that nice interactive uh, feedback there where we get a nice little check mark next to it, letting us know that that task has been finished, that action. If I need to assign someone else to any of these actions, we can do that as well. So I can drag over someone else to work through an action. I'm going to have my core Kevin run through the safety procedures tomorrow. And then if we want to add more visuals, we can do things like stickers. Throw a nice little thumbs up on that one for finishing that. Similarly, any problem notes that we create throughout our meetings will automatically be populated into the waiting section on our problem log. In this case, I hadn't identified any problems previous to jumping into this log, but I'll jump in now and start to create uh, some new problems. You see we can progress problems through just like we can with an action log. I can define who's assigned to that problem. Uh, are there any actionable items that come out of that problem? And then once that problem is complete, we can set it to close, getting that visual feedback along the way of where that uh, problem is in its status. If we need to, we can add uh, additional content like sketches to these problems um, to again, just add some additional visual information. Um, we can also take a look at a PDF viewer. So if there's any company information you want to share, we can look at that in a PDF viewer. I'm going to use this to supplement my PowerPoint slide. Uh, so the 3D Lean um, tool that we're looking at now, 3D Experience platform, they did uh, a, a data test to see uh, how people liked using this tool. Um, they found 92% of it found it useful in their daily work up 24% from other tools, 85% um, found that they were more involved in meeting subjects and easier to find uh, additional information was up to 92% with an email uh, reduction of 55%. So by using this tool, found that the uh, email um, reduction was significant and then even the number of actions created. Uh, so actionable items, things that, that need to be taken care of, uh, was up double from um, not using a, a tool like 3D Lean. Uh, and the number of actions being able to close per day was up one and a half times. Uh, and uh, production supervisors saw using a tool like 3D Lean save them 35 minutes per day. Uh, the 3D Lean levers, uh, so 
kind of the, the six pillars that this tool is, is built on, uh, giving us a much better visual management when running these meetings, uh, being able to visually see that information a little bit uh, easier and more engaging, um, being able to um, create animations for our, our meetings and make these meetings more collaborative uh, with teamwork, pulling everyone together on one platform. Again, being able to connect even if we're disconnected working remotely. Uh, the principles of this tool were built from those lean principles from the, the analyzing the shop floor uh, and utilizing this tool allows uh, shop floor managers to access that shop floor data and then present it in a nice visual way to their team, um, allowing them to kind of standardize the meetings, make them very efficient and on time. So if we look at my clock, so you still got uh, just under four minutes left of time. Uh, and then using a digital tool for um, engagement, especially for the younger workforce that's used to more digital um, tools that will find that more engaging. So overall, this study found that by improving engagement of people leads to profitability. If I take a look, I'm just gonna draw your attention to one section here. We'll use this, um, some of our tools instead of adding a sticky note. I'm just gonna highlight a section. The study found that by using a, a tool like 3D Lean, a, a digital um, lean principles tool, I uh, found that 17% of people were more productive in their daily work and 21% were more profitable. Um, that comes from people um, being more overall engaged. Right? As you see on the pie chart on the left, um, over a, a Gallup uh, report of people in the uh, workforce, uh, only 10% of employees feel that they're uh, very actively engaged at work. 71% uh, say they're not engaged and 19 are even actively disengaged. So by bringing that percentage of employees that feel more engaged, that allows them to be more productive, which makes the company more profitable. Uh, so tools like 3D Lean are really designed on that principle of improving that productivity and that profitability um, by using something like um, like these meetings to organize all that information in one place. And the nice thing about 3D Lean is it's built into our 3D experience platform. So all of your other tools are also in this same place. So I need to go in and review any CAD data, uh, to collaborate with some, some teammates uh, over messaging, over ideas, um, work through any uh, data management, you know, revisions and life cycles, all of that design, all of that simulation as well is all in the same platform. And then 3D Lean just adds to that for our team meetings. All right, so that is the 3D Lean tool. I'm gonna jump back now to my PowerPoints to wrap up. I'll open it up to any questions. Uh, so there's a question section on the side. Um, if anyone has any questions uh, right now, feel free to type those in. I will just jump to the next slide here, which has my email address on there. So if anyone does think of a question in the future, wants to reach out to me, whether it's about um, the 3D Lean tool, 3D experience in general, or anything SOLIDWORKS related, and I'm the the product manager here at CAD Dimensions. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. If there's no questions, thank you everyone for attending today. Hopefully we'll see you all at our next um, webinar session next month.